Hey, welcome to the second episode of Hands On with Raza. In the first episode, we learned how to integrate an API via custom action by adding an event to Google Calendar. In this episode, we will learn how to design slots and form to build great Raza systems. But before we do that, let's have a recap of the previous episode. So event has been added, but when we check the calendar, it says go for. It is not thinking that cycling is the action or cycling is the event. So we will try to kind of overcome this and understand the implementation of forms in the next video. So for the conversation to take different entities separately, let's start making changes in our files. So the first thing we'll do is make changes in an LU file. Let's just comment out the, this whole thing over here. Let's just have an intent called add event. Examples, add event or remind me. examples now let's add this intent for the time inform time and we know what is the format that we are putting the dates in Okay, now in the domain file, we had already added add event and get event in intents. Now let's add the two new intents in form event and in form time. We will keep the entities the same. This is the slot. We are gonna change these slots from text. We will put some conditions over here. Active loop is even found. I will get what it is and the requested slot is the event. We will do the same for the time. Let's write the rule to submit the form that has all the slots. So rule to submit the form, it's capital S. Condition, first condition is your active loop has to be even form. Let's have our steps. The first comes action form uh, to now to deactivate, let's put active in null once that condition is met. Uh, slot, also we have to clear. Slot. Null. After making sure that those conditions are met, the actions we want to run, oh, we need to put the actions we uh, need to run this action. Action add 
event. So when forms are done, let's check the domain version. We have changed intents, entities, slots. We have forms, uh, actions. In the response, we also need to uh, add what are the outputs when, uh, what will be the utter output when we add uh, event. So let's just add, add other ask event form now everything is done so now let's go and train the model let's first do rasa train to train the model on the new data So we have a started browser and server, and then our server is running. Let's uh, we have open a browser shell. Let's say I want to add in it again. Go for cycling. At what time? Twenty-two. Say that Twenty-three. Sorry. Right. At ten a.m. Event added, let's check my calendar. So in the calendar, the event has been added. Go for cycling between 10 to 11 on 22nd of Feb. So this was the second episode on hands-on with Raza. Let me know what other NNDO components should I cover in the next episodes. Thank you.